Hi there, my name is Cronenberg and welcome to the channel. This is a game review of the demo of Ghost Ghost Runner, uh, an action cyberpunk game. Uh, the developer is One More Level 3D Realms Slipgate Ironworks All In Games, and the publisher is 505 Games. It came out in 2020, it's got very positive reviews, and it's currently for £25 on Steam. Uh, it's got single player achievements and trading cards and partial controller support. Apparently, it's rated 16 as well. Uh, you know, that's in the age. Um, and it's for Windows 7 to 10. And when you first. Oh, and it's. Uh, yeah. Um, Ghost Runner offers a unique single player experience, fast paced, violent combat, and an original setting that blends science fiction with post apocalyptic can I say this word? Apocalyptic themes. It tells the story of a world that has already ended and its inhabitants who fight to survive. Well, that sounds like now, doesn't it? So, um, what I'll do is I'll go through the options, do the gameplay and do the review at the end so you can select the things that you want to, uh, to view. Um, now, in the, uh, in the settings, you can change the, the language here. From English, Polish, French, Dutch, German, even sorry, Italian. I'm not even even guessing which one that is. Uh, that's Russian, I think. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, as I say, I'm not going to assume anything what languages they are because if I say it and it's completely wrong, then you know I've offended a, re a region in the in the world. So, um, oh, sorry about that. Right, so video, I've left this all as is. Audio, I've dropped everything down, I'll put this to about 16, this was all at 100. Um, music, and controls are here. So it's WSA and D as normal, and then you tend to use the left shift. The right mouse button and the right mouse button and the jump and the shift and stuff like this, so... Uh, there we go. Um, so we're going to go for it. Uh, it looks quite a fast game, and it's it's. Uh, I was going to say when you start it up, it offers you the option to play it with DirectX um, 11, I think it is, or 12 Experimental. I think that's what it said. Um, and I was also looking on my Nvidia control panel. It's there. You can optimize it if you want to. I don't, but you know that's just me. Okay, let's go. Oh, well, yeah, new game, that would be cool. Just a demo, remember, so God knows what it's like. My alarm say it yeah, probably go for about four minutes. Jeez, my eyeballs. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Alive. I am. Can you hear me? Mm hmm. They are already looking for you. Oh, hello. Oh, that's me, Dom. Relax. Okay. Your implants are still adjusting to the software. I'm in a prison. I can calibrate only your basic protocols from in here. It'll have to suffice for now. He whispered for himself. Just bear me. Well, we have a look at the graphics. So, I've been recently reviewing a hell of a lot of indie games, and they've been nothing like this. <laughs> so this is completely different. It's like I'm uh, reviewing a AAA title. Oh, there's jump. Ah, oh, puddle. That's crouch. And I'm just getting rooted. That's oh shift. I'm doing shift, but it's not running. What does shift do? Right, well, okay, let's have a look. Oh, that's it. Oh, it, it, it auto picks up. That's all right. This, this is probably going to be one of those games that you would have. Take 
a sip of my tea before I go out. If you can't hear me, sorry about that. Oh, Jesus. A trespasser spotted at Metro Station. This is bad. You'll have to fight your way out of here. Fuck. What went went uh, now here? Yeah? Scratch my nostril hairs. Right. Okay, so this is this is me. Got my trusty thing. There was let me just Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> must be must be being sneaky. Well, that's not really good, is it? Is there any other way for me to get down there? What happens if I just drop? There we go. Cool, I can ignore him. Oh, maybe not. No. The air ducts lead to another sector. Well, I must admit, that's, I, I was expecting kind of like a a knifing thing that takes forever, but that's, how do I know my health? What am I saying? The air ducts go to another sector? Air ducts. What, up there? How do I get up there? Software is a mess. God, it's a miracle I did that. Sorry, I, I normally have a timer going, so let me just have my timer going. Uh, where's my clock? There it is. Uh, stopwatch. Right, I have to do it for 20 minutes now. I normally do. Uh, best control whilst running to slide. I've rebooted your acceleration module. You should be able to squeeze through that turbine. Uh, okay. I've got to get across over here first. You can use acceleration while in the air. Oh, yeah, 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 shift. I'll press the space bar. Ah, oh, bollocks. What the hell? I just done that. I pressed. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Why, why is it not working on this? Where the fuck? That's just... <laughs> I don't think I'm supposed to be here. Oh god. <laughs> what in the fuck is that? Is that a foot? Landed on here again. I don't think I'm supposed to land on here, am I? I'm supposed to be over there, aren't I? I yeah. <laughs> where am I going to boss where I am? Oh, 
Oh, one more do how did I get up here? Well, I, I, I jumped there and then I fell down and I landed up here. Well, there you go. Figure that one out. The trespasser is in the air ducts. Careful now. They'll be waiting for you. Well, yeah, yeah. I have, I have no idea I even got here. God save me. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Initiating shift. the sensory boost. You've got to best shift all the time and get used to it. My God. Focus. Don't embrace the software. Shift one in the air to enter sentry. Okay. And go for the kill. Well done, but you won't last long in this state. You have to get me out of prison so I can get your software in order. I'm being held outside this dome zone. What? Where? What? And just come down from there. Where did I come down? Oh, from there. Wait, 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 what have I landed now? Yeah. <laughs> Why does it do that to me? Yeah. Oh, you son of a... Alright, I've got to... Controller, use a fucking controller, my god almighty. Oh, you know what I mean? It's just annoying because. It... Oh, my god. If I'd have known it was like this, I, I, I thought it was just you just go along and fight people, I didn't realize I'd have to park her. Hold of it, one lot of them in. Oh. Mm. Oh, you sound up. I'm so used to pressing shift to run. I'm going to stop there because it's pissing me off. Um, I can see why this would be a very positive game. You know, there's loads to do, you have to climb around, jump around and all that lot. But I, I didn't realise it was like a parkour game where you just have to then climb along, along all the walls and stuff like that. I thought you just go along and kill people and stuff like this. I know what Cyberpunk is, but it, it, it's just too much jumping on the sides and bouncing off of the walls and stuff like that. Um, yes, you can kill in one shot. Thank the gods. But, I, I like, there you jump, because I'm used to pressing shift to run, but you don't press shift to run. You press shift to sort of do something else when you're on there. So it's like, okay, so you do that, but then you can't grab a hold of the next one because you press the shift button. And then if you press the space bar, it sort of doesn't do anything. You've kind of... It's, it'll take a lot of going. I think this. I mean, this is what the, the start of it. Um, I think for this game, it will be a you know carry on and on and on and on and on, and then you get used to it, and then you can navigate your way to the next level and so forth and so forth. The graphics are pretty cool, I must admit. They're all good. Um, the killing's kind of cool. That's okay. Um, the weird one was when I was trying to jump over. I can't remember which body. I killed that dude, didn't I? And I was trying to jump over to that next ledge or something. And, um... 
I kept falling down to that pipe or whatever it was. And then when I pressed R to go back, I was on the ledge that I was trying to get to, but I never actually got to it. But yeah, somehow it put me on that ledge. It was bizarre. It was like, oh, what the hell? I'm already here. So maybe that was a glitch. I don't know. I always find glitches in games. Um, do I recommend this game? Yes. Uh, not for me, I don't think. I think it's it's partial controller support, so maybe if you can get your controller to do it, then you'll you'll be happy with it. You'll be okay just tipping away and going on the sides and stuff like that. It's it's quite an addictive game. I can see how it can become very good and long. Uh, it's expensive for the game, but hey, the graphics are awesome, you know. Uh, and it looks like it's the longevity of the game and the you know of you playing the game will be quite long and lengthy. So yeah, why not? Anyway, um. Hopefully you've enjoyed watching this game review of a Ghost Runner. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. I've got plenty of other game reviews. Uh, I do do a lot of indie lately, um, but I have been branching back into other stuff like this one. Uh, but I have done other kind of AAA games. I would let's call them. You know, um, have I, I've done anything like this. I can't think what I've done that's similar to like this. I don't know. Probably something. Um, Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Leave a comment in the comment box below. Have you played this game? Do you know how to bounce across the the walls? I think it's using the shift and the, the space bar, but not pressing shift to start with because that's what you used to use to run. If you're not, a, oh, you're used to using it for run, not in this game. Okay, well, thank you and goodbye.